Okay, we got another firearms myth for you, and this is one that's near and dear to our heart. It's the myth of over-lubrication. It's one that we run into everywhere we go. Dave, give me your thoughts on the subject. Well, this has surprised me more than anything in training, and it doesn't matter who it is, law enforcement, military, students either have no lubrication or improper lubrication on the weapons, which one of the questions is, well, where do I lube it and how much? Yeah, how much? And they're always afraid of over lubrication. Because they've been taught that you can lube it too much and it'll track sand and you're better off with no lube or very little lube and whatnot. As we know, that's a myth. We're going to prove that to you. So that being the case, got some lube here. Larry, what, what are you doing? I want, this up, is bro? TAC TV, and you always do it bigger and better, so we're gonna make sure we over lube the weapons. All right, bro. Straight up. All right. Oh, I brought, yeah, dog. I brought my lube. That's what I'm talking about. Let me know when you think it's been over lubed. Oh, okay. Good? You know what? Go ahead and finish her off, Dave. Oh my God. Now, if that's not over lubrication, I don't know what is. I'm surprised the guns just don't self-destruct in the bucket. Yeah, or in the sand's tub. being attracted to it. Oh, I know, it. it's just amazing. I'm just a, I'm afraid that they're just gonna seize up right there. Blow apart. Yeah. So, I'll take the M9 Beretta out, got 10 rounds, load it up, put 10 rounds on the target. After that, we'll take out the Daniel Defense M4, load it up, put 10 rounds on the other target. Do you want to wipe them down or anything? Nope. Okay, I may be out of frame because I know what you're going to look like. Yeah, I'm going to be a slimy mess, but that's all right. I want to prove the point. Okay. Here we go. There we go. be damned. It worked exactly as advertised. The gun didn't self-destruct, Dave. Isn't that amazing? All right, now it's time for the DDM-4. Okay. She's a little slimy. Unbelievable, Dave. Who'd have guessed? It worked just fine. Now, you do have more lube on you than some of the students that come to class have on their weapons. Uh, agreed. But I do want to say you're not telling them to do this. No, this was to prove a point. It's just like when you have a little kid, sometimes you got to take things over the line to prove the point. You definitely did that. That's why I did this. I'm certainly not recommending for shooters out there to lubricate their weapon to this degree. This is obviously extreme. But the bottom line is over lubrication is a myth. What we see is under lubrication and very rarely improper lubrication for the given conditions. Remember, your weapon is a machine and just like your car, you wouldn't run it without oil and you damn sure shouldn't be running your gun without oil.